2021 Nissan Armada Review, Truckin' with More Tech. But before we start, please support us by pressing the like and subscribe buttons, so that we can continue to provide information about car and motorcycle news. Also turn on the bell button to get the latest updates. Your support means a lot to us. Thank you. The 2021 Nissan Armada soldiers on into the new year with only minor aesthetic changes atop its same old school body on frame design and naturally aspirated V8. In some ways, we appreciate the Armada and others like it for sticking to its roots. But in a market now booming with better options, it's hard to recommend this large SUV to anyone outside of the hardest of hardcore Nissan faithful wanting something that can tow a boat or handle an off-road trail. The Armada is thirsty, not nice to drive, and for as large as it is, it still falls well short in passenger space compared to some roomier, more modern competitors. Plus the Armada is one of the most expensive options in the class with a starting price of $52,900, for now, and an as-tested price of over $70,000. The previous Nissan Armada had too much going on up front, downturned headlights, a chrome-heavy grille, fog lights, and a huge lower vent opening all shoved onto a front fascia that didn't have enough space. On this 2021 model, though, Nissan raised the hood line and made room for sleeker U-shaped headlights and a cleaner V-motion grille, with fewer fussy details elsewhere. The end result is an SUV that looks more modern, even if it still isn't our definition of attractive. This particular Platinum model wears a shade of Hermosa blue pearl paint that we quite like, combined with 22-inch darkened chrome wheels that come standard on this trim, inarguably the best wheels of the bunch. And if you want to toughen up the Armada's exterior even further, Nissan offers a Midnight Edition model, which swaps the chrome finish on the front grille, side mirrors, and more, for a gloss black instead. But we actually prefer the clean styling of the Platinum. A deep shade of espresso brown leather covers the seats, quilted on the top trim Platinum model, while the dash wears a combo of black leather and a strange marbled lacquered wood trim that looks outdated. Apart from that, the addition of a new 12.3-inch touchscreen atop the dash and a new 7.0-inch information screen within the instrument cluster makes the old cabin feel a bit more modern. The Nissan Armada is like a bank vault on wheels, and not just because it looks like a bank vault on wheels. Impressive sound deadening makes it feel like you're sealed off from the outside world. On top of that, the hulking 5.6-liter V8 doesn't rumble or shake on startup, the suspension is buttery smooth and makes for an absolutely sublime ride, and the quilted zero-gravity front seats feel like they might have come from Lazy Boy. Passenger space, as you might have guessed, is solid considering the Armada's daunting size. The Nissan has 39.8 inches of front headroom and 41.9 inches of front legroom, although those aren't best in class figures, the Chevrolet Tahoe, 42.3, 44.5, and Ford Expedition, 42.0, 43.9, both do better in these respects. The second row captain's chairs, an extra $650, are cushy, comfortable, and well worth the additional price. Plus both the first and second row get standard heating on this Platinum model. But for as large as the Armada is, the third row falls short of being comfortable. The 36.4 inches of headroom and 28.4 inches of legroom are among the worst figures in the class, and you feel it sitting back there. On top of that, the cramped third row only gives way to 16.5 cubic feet of room behind the seats.
Thanks for watching. Drop a like, leave a comment, and don't forget to subscribe to watch more videos like this.